Welcome to the Western North Carolina School of Massage. My name is John, and today we're going to learn neuromusculotherapy to the triceps brachii. Our partner is uh, position prone, draped, with the arm abducted 90 degrees away from the body, and the elbow flexed 90 degrees hanging off the table. Our first technique is simply myofascial stretching over the tricep, which is the only muscle on the posterior arm. And we want to focus on a nice fascial stretch, especially down along the distal aspect where the thick tendon is of this three-headed muscle. We're going to hold a myofascial stretch for approximately one minute at, at minimum. This allows the collagen fibers of connective tissue to respond to our touch. After we've held this for a minute, I'm going to go ahead and move on for demo purposes. Uh, you can see we've already got some nice vasodilation and hyperemia of the tissue. We can then also do myofascial rolling to the area, being aware of client comfort. Are you okay with this? Is this a little, is this beyond mild discomfort? We want to be uh, aware of the inner aspect of the arm, the medial aspect. This is quite sensitive, very thin tissue, and neurovascular structures are superficially located here. So you want to stay on the tricep. If you're not sure, you can ask your partner to extend their arm and the muscle contracts, and you can feel the fibers. Okay, thank you. Once we've done some myofascial stretching and rolling to the entire area, we're simply going to then do some deep stripping effleurage to the muscle along its fibers. We be can begin with deep form using broad strokes superficially. We're going to start out light and just warm up the tissue. The triceps brachii attaches distally at the olecranon process of the ulna thereby extending the elbow, the humeral ulnar joint, and proximally the lateral head attaches along the posterior humerus, just superior to the musculospiral groove, and the medial deep head attaches just distally to the musculospiral or radial groove of the humerus, where the radial nerve runs through. And the long head attaches at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, crossing the glenohumeral joint. Once we've done some broad superficial pressure, then we can go in with a smaller tool, either our open fist or palm, and continue treatment to all three bellies of triceps. And then we can start using smaller tools to affect the specific lateral and long head we can get entrapment here of the radial nerve by the tricep a client would complain of numbness and tingling doing, going down the dorsal aspect of the forearm and the wrist to the middle finger. That would be an indication of possible radial nerve entrapment. Dysthesia. Trigger points in this muscle can commonly refer pain to the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, commonly called tennis elbow. It can also refer trigger point pain to the posterior arm and shoulder. Overload can be due to push-ups, bench press, or sports such as racquetball, tennis, or golf. Overuse of crutches or a walking stick can also overload this muscle. Once you've done deep stripping effleurage to the entire muscle belly, 
We can then go back and address any trigger points with trigger point pressure and communication. Is this uh, anything yes. going on here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to compress to mild discomfort. Are we at mild discomfort? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stay at mild discomfort, and will you let me know when it feels better by saying it feels better? Okay, it feels better. The triceps, and we're just going to lightly come out and effleurage the area of release. A common range of motion assessment for this muscle is called the overhead reach uh, test, in which the uh, partner or your partner would put their arms over their head and their hands, palms facing each other together, fully extended over their head. If one arm cannot do that, it is indicated that the triceps is tight on that arm. And we're just going to come up and finish with some nice compression and longitudinal friction at the attachment site of the long head. Compress and friction. And the medial head. Compress and friction. and at the lateral head above the radial groove, compress and friction. This muscle is commonly involved not only in tennis elbow, but possibly may be involved in lecranon bursitis, medial epicondylitis, thoracic outlet syndrome, and friction. And then down here at the lecranon process, we have the thick tendon, thoroughly compress and friction both longitudinally and cross fiber, if you wish, the thick tendon of the tricep. And this is a brief overview of how to treat this muscle commonly involved in tennis elbow.